Because in this video, I am going to discuss about GUID in CSOL.NET. So, add here the full form of GUID Global Unique Identity Pair. And here, uh, our GUID is a 128-bit integer or 16 bytes. And here, uh, it is using when we need unique identifier. So, let's understand by example. So, at here, I'm going to write GUID. So, if we take the cursor, so it is a struct. And here, this the full form represents global unique identifier. So, GUID is the short form of global unique identifier. Now, here, after I'm going to or create the uh, object of GUID now here after with the help of new and your GUID constructor. So if you add skewed to all uh, these things, so there you get all the values 0. So add here it's all returning or uh, 0. Oh, okay, one more thing I just forget to include console class dot right line method. So let's write console class dot to right turn method and here I am going to pass G. Now let's execute that. So see right here it's all returning or oh, 0 value. So this is the empty value. So there is a nothing. I am not using any or oh, new GUID. So here it's not overriding. So by default the value of 0 or oh, GUID is the null. So add here this is if you count from here so this is the 8 and if you count from here this is the 12 12 plus 8 or 20 and here or this is the 4 4 4 so 4 into 3 12 so total add here or uh, it will return 32 alpha numeric values now here after let's uh, uh, use add here GUID one more time so add here GUID now creating the one new object and here with the help of new GUID and here with the new GUID so and here oh, GUID if you paste dot okay one more thing and here I am going to write on oh, GUID so here after if you paste dot here you can find empty so and here of it empty so I will read only instance of the GUID structure whose value is just 0 so add here, I'm going to uh, display new GID. So just write add here new. Here after you can get these things new GID. So here initializing a new instance of GID structure. So this is the use of initializing new GID. Now here after if you oh, let's write add here console class dot to or write line method and you're going to pass G1. Now if you execute so previously that was printing 0 now if you execute here that return new alpha numeric values so this is the new GUID so it's a displaying because of I'm using new GUID and here this is the function method sorry method so this is the method and here this method returning new G the purpose of this method returning new GUID values now hereafter you can use the new GUID method one more time so add here let's write a directly console class and here dot to or write line method. Now here after let's write at this point GUID and here if you press dot now here you can find new GUID method. So add here initializing a new instance of GUID. So it's the initializing one more time new instance. So previously was so or or different value or now if you I execute this screen so at here you can find new value because every time we uh, so see at here this this values and this values are different so when oh uh, we are not whenever uh, when I was not using at here new GID so it's all returning zero zero values so at here when I when I was using at here or uh, new GID so it returns some alphanumeric values now here after whenever we need we use new GID method so it returns new values. So this is the use of uh, GUID. So generally, uh, we need we are using GUID method when we have to identify new things. So in SQL Server, whenever we need to identify or call, sorry rows, rows so uh, values distinct. So there we are using a uh, GUID concept. So sometimes what happen in primary key, primary key, or uh, do not so uh, accept or uh, uh, always accept to add their unique values no any duplicate but to whenever you are 
using GeoID. So for every row, GeoID values are unique. So that to know this is the purpose of using GID. So to make uh, uh, things unique. So here this is a small example of GID in Microsoft SQL Server. So in next video I will discuss more. So now in this video it's over. So thanks for watching. See you next video. Thank you.